It's just after five o'clock and I got a cup of coffee going. Early bird gets the worm. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to demonstrate here, I'm still working on this uh, milling machine, playing around with the table a little bit. I want to show you something. Okay, hold on. Get this over here somewhere. Okay. Let's look at these strips of paper. This here is a brown and sharp 36 inch cast iron master straight edge. It was scraped by masters at brown and sharp 100 years ago. I don't know. But it's been checked out a few times and I guarantee you this is an accurate straight edge. Okay, let's look at this piece of paper. Well, that, that piece of paper is tight. How about the one in the middle? Oh, well, that's tight too. Well, what about this one? Oh, uh oh. I think you can see that. I sure hope so. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's loose. Now let's crank the table to the other end. Now, now the, uh, I can put the table lock on, and that doesn't make any difference. See? Tight, tight, loose. Okay. Loosen the table lock here. And I will back the table clear back the other direction there we go way back Getting close. Uh, uh, uh. That's good. Okay, I'll put the table back, lock back on for fair comparison's sake. Oh, tight, tight, loose. Okay. Well, this is a milling machine. And uh, it's supported just by the saddle here on the knee. And so the table's going to bend, you know, when you run it either direction. And, and it's good to know that. Okay, I'm going to run it to the middle. Yeah, close there. Close enough, I think. Okay, a little bit loose there, tight there, and tight there. So there's a little bit of hump in this table, and I don't know if it's enough to worry about. It appears to me to be about a thousandths and a half or two thousandths. So I, I don't know. I'm going to use the machine and not worry about that. But um, I'll get the camera off the hook here. Here we go. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to uh, um, use the uh, sensitive level and get this machine leveled out. I've got it really close to uh, 68 degrees in here held it for a couple of days or so. So, you know, it's uh, pretty close to where, uh, you know, reasonable gauging should work out. So, um, now this table sagging is not a problem with the, uh, the jig bore over here, and I'll show you. Get around the vacuum cleaner. Oh, another sip of coffee. Mmm. Drink two of those things oh, pretty quick, I bet you. Now, if you look at the jig board table, oh, get the junk off of it. <laughs> now, there's there's no knee, see? The, uh, the up and down movement is up in the vertical head here. So when the table moves, it moves on the saddle. And you can see the table is smaller 
than the saddle. So the table is constantly supported at each extreme ends and in the middle. So it's not going to have the sag problems of a uh, regular milling machine. Okay. Now, uh, I like to uh, know the uh, weak points of machines. And this was pointed out to me a long time ago by somebody. I'm going to get that level off there. And this machine is a victim of it. Um, I think you can see it right here by the mag base. Um, is this galling. Now, what has happened is that really this dovetail here is not nearly big enough to support this table. And if you overload the machine, it's going to squish the oil out and cause this, see? And I believe, you know, they put some pretty heavy things on this machine. So... That's uh, part of the problem, but it, it's not, uh, the machine's not ruined. I've uh, gone over this and knocked the high spots off, and uh, the table is uh, uh, sufficiently supported for what I'm going to do. <clears throat> now, now, you might find this an interesting problem is uh, the oil, here's your oil filter here, your oil filler is uh, they just uh, recommend hydraulic oil, regular circulating oil. When I first saw this machine, uh, some kids were trying to put some dirt down their hole. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's kind of funny, I thought. Anyway, it's kind of a motivation to buy it because little kids are doing stuff. Um, <laughs> okay, so this knee takes regular hydraulic oil. And one of the little problems is, is that my little window I repaired here is not filling up with oil, so i got to figure that out. And so I overfilled it. But when I run it, it drips in the window, that, you know, so that's good. It's got a separate oil system for the table itself. Here, here's the window. It's got oil pump uh, for, for itself. But the problem really is, you know, these ways need whey oil, not, you know, particularly hydraulic oil. So I don't know, maybe someone has a suggestion. I'm just thinking of doing putting like light uh, Vactra or, or that vacuuming or something on the wider scale that'll pump through here. I don't know. But I, I don't know. I'd like to, you know, have something tacky, you know, in the system. And I think it would just operate better. I don't have a light under there where you can see probably how that's all pretty nice oh, still. So... That's uh, um, a problem, I think, uh, um, is worth noting with milling machines, what I demonstrated here with this uh, straight edge. Mm, that is good coffee this time of day. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, keep finishing deeper in the table. Um, I, I'm still going over it with that little scraper in the stone. And um, I have flat stones, and I've been playing around with them. I, I put uh, a mixture of kerosene and uh, number six spindle oil on here when I do this. But this, um, this stone... When, if you use it correctly, I don't know if people are familiar with lapping, but if you go in a figure eight motion and then rotate at 90 degrees and continue to, to go in a figure eight motion, keep doing that, uh, the stone flattens itself. So um, <clears throat> I don't know. 
um, I've got I've got other stones, but I, I I'll tell you I can't damage the table with a hard Arkansas stone. <laughs> so you know I I'll research things a little bit more I guess on stoning a table, but this is. Uh, I don't know the way it was done before I was in existence, that's for sure. So, you know, I, uh, you know, correcting a couple thousandths error in, in the table, uh, when it, when it's just, you know, when it's sitting in the uh, middle is uh, something I'm not really excited about doing anything about, because I don't really see a need, a need for it. But the one thing I'm doing, checking it out like this, I'm finding the sweet spots. You know, the, the table starts dropping off, uh, I guess it's this end, you know, a little bit. So, you know, I can move the dividing head over or whatever work uh, that might be more critical. And I'll be in the, t you know, in the sweet spot of this thing. But at any rate, it, it's a good, uh, good deal to know your machines. So I'll be back with an update. And thanks for having a look this morning. And, and have a good day, folks. Bye.